Oh, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth, and I'm going to show you how to get a ridiculous amount of polymer over on Scorched Earth. It's actually one of the best maps that you can get polymer on as long as you know what to do and where to go. Basically, all you need is a wyvern because every other tame that you could use for this is not nearly as useful. Um, you can get away with any other flyer, but Wyvern's going to be your best friend for this one. So what you want to do is make sure your Wyvern has decent stats on it, obviously, because that, the better Wyverns, you know, that's what you're looking for. Um, obviously, this one is much higher than it should be, but, you know, it is what it is. So all you're going to look for when you're inside of this map is you're going to want to get to the outside of the map. Once you get to the outside of the map, the outside is the actual Scorched Earth desert part, right? In this zone, if you just do circles around it, you will find a large number of these guys right here, right? These are mantises. Mantises, when you eat them with any meat eater, will give you a ridiculous amount of chitin and a ridiculous amount of organic polymer. These are 1x rates, by the way, so like it's 10 organic polymer, which would have taken me quite a bit of time on pretty much any other server, um, but this one is obviously much quicker, so I'm not even concerned. So sometimes you get 26, so there's 26 right there. And there's so many of these things that you can just go in massive circles. And because everything will respawn by the time you finish the circle, you can get tens of thousands in not that long of a time at all. You just have to be dedicated in order going out into the uh, uh, desert. Now, there's also a second benefit of going out into the desert, actually, is because when you are out here, you can go ahead and harvest the red drops that exist in the desert. They're probably one of the uh, some of the highest level drops that you can get, and at least on Scorched Earth are the highest level drops that you can get. Um, they count as desert drops and they are very, very packed with loot. So as long as you're out here, you might as well be getting that. And sometimes you can get lucky and see a death worm as well, because most wyverns can pretty easily handle a death worm. You should definitely be taking your wyvern out to the Scorched Earth circles and then just doing what I'm doing right now, going in circles, because the more circles you make, the more loot you're gonna get. To give you an approximation of how much loot you can actually get from this area, by the way, um, if you were to stay out here for, let's say an hour, right? You're coming back with multiple thousand organic polymer, probably quite a few horns, like the actual um, death worm horns. And then you're probably gonna come back with enough chitin to build enough cementing face to feed an army <laughs> and, uh, if you wanted to kill everything out in the jungle, or not the jungle, the desert, um, and you just eat everything at 41 per there, dung beetles are over here. Um, everything out in the desert has chitin on it when you eat it. So if you just go around eating things that are in the desert, uh, you'll get an insane amount of chitin too, which can be used to not only feed your creatures, it's got a whole bunch of benefits, right? Just by going out here, you're getting an insane amount of stuff, but we're focusing on the organic poly. I would say you can easily, easily, easily get like 3,000 in an hour, N probably more, because the number of mantis that spawn on this map is kind of wild, especially if you get a good little pattern circle going, because at 20 a pop, I just killed two, there's another chunk, I go over here, kill another one, there's 60, and I haven't even really, this video's three minutes long, and I've already got 184, and I'm not really trying all that hard. If I was trying, I would kind of sit a little bit further out and kind of like see to them right and left here. And you're just going to the number of mantis that spawn in this, this scorched earth are, is laughable. So you can get so much stuff. Um, so, yep. So we're going to go and hit that guy. Just keep cruising. And then, yep, we'll just keep fighting. So there's 13 plus the 122. Um, what's it called? Chitin. And then we can go ahead and pick up this guy's chitin and meat as well. So you're not only getting a meat run done, you're getting, it's a multi-purpose thing. And it's probably the one of the most, I, I love flying around on wyverns. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but you can come back with so much that it's almost funny. And now the benefit of this map as well is there's enough um, hard polymer that you can get by crafting the polymer. But it's also a waste of resources in my opinion, because there's things that are, you know, I'd rather just go through the actual desert and uh, have a little bit of fun and get some loot as long as I'm doing it. So now that we're going through, you'll notice a whole, you'll start to notice patterns too, um, because there are two rotating red drops that constantly exist out here. You can get a crazy amount of loot. I haven't seen one of the drops yet, but they're pretty obvious. And uh, sometimes you'll go over areas where you don't see Mantis for a little bit, which sucks, um, but you will eventually run into them again. This is where you can find Phasla 
and all kinds of other things. If you're if you see a death worm, by the way, what you'll see is like it's like a sand poofing up in the air. And uh, that's how you can kind of tell that a death worm is nearby and it'll head towards you as soon as you land because they aggro to literally everything, um, which is not the best for their health, obviously, because going into a wyvern or a giganotosaurus or whatever they're going into is never a good idea. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out into getting a ton of organic polymer on this map. Um, it's really not difficult. I've killed most of the things this direction. I don't know why I went this way. I'm just kind of trying to show you the path that I normally take. And then if you're running out of water, you have enough oasis out here that you don't have to worry about that. Or just carry a shovel and then you can dig a hole for water and you don't need to worry about that either. So we're going to go and get to the top of this one because usually at the top of this hill, there's a couple of mantis on the backside. And uh, it's pretty much my run that I run, just constant circles. Um, and look to your right and left because you will notice that they kind of spawn in random zones sometimes. It is what it is. So I didn't find any recently, but you will have some bad runs sometimes and sometimes you'll have some good ones because they share spawns with everything in the desert. So as you can see, things are still spawning in. So it hasn't been very long on an official server. You're probably going to have mantis all over the place. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider it subbing to the channel. All right. Other than that, each.